have two vacuum cleaners from Void Me here today and I am going to show you the differences but let's unbox the basic model first so this is the basic model the suction power is 25,000 PA it is higher than all the previous models that I've reviewed from Void Me so far so a lot of you like mattress brush because you can vacuum your bed right so this is the vacuum brush which is good because you want to separate the usual vacuum attachment from the one that you use on your bed manual this is the stem and because I've seen so much of our Void Me products if you look closely this is like aluminium grade this is the motto this is the vacuum attachment very nice black and white again Roy me always give you this charging dock okay it's wireless so you just attach it like this okay power cable is here when you're done with the vacuum you just dock it like this it will charge okay extra filter so two more filters for you another brush attachment okay very similar to the previous Void Me vacuum cleaners they give you this crevice too you can detach it so you always need this like a smaller surface area or if a bigger one you need with the bristle this too uh, is for you to remove anything that is stuck inside the bin maybe hair or you need to brush the filter okay and then if you look closely there is a blade here so if there's any hair stuck in the bin you can cut it with the blade here so this is another attachment okay which is going to come in handy when you use the mop attachment so just want to make sure that i cover everything in this unboxing this model is the x20s so the second model here i've already tried it it's very very powerful <laughs> the suction power is 26,500 the difference is it comes with a screen okay it comes in two colors there is this gray and there is a white so this is the crevice too you see how different it is okay the rest of the items they are very similar so for example mattress brush yeah about the same it's just the physical look it comes with a screen <gasps> my heart hurts <laughs> I, uh, I'm very protective of my stuff oh, okay okay let's put it on the floor so both the vacuum that I've shown you okay it comes with this I really tried it so far and I really like it so I have two here because you know I have two vacuum cleaner. This is a mop attachment. Yeah. And you can remove. It came with this brush, which you'll find it very handy. Because sometimes there'll be hair or debris stuck in between. That's where you insert to clean it. And a cup. You need this cup, right, to fill up the exact amount of water that goes into this attachment. So you must be very careful when you pour water in here. Yeah. So don't fill from the tap directly. Always use this thing. Okay. Two extra mop pad, which is good because you want to separate your kitchen from your bedrooms. This is the tray that is like your usual, you know, your mop and the pail. You fill in the water all the way to here. Okay, you put this thing in, you mop, this thing will spin and after you're done, you just put it here and this thing will wring off all the dirty water for you. So first, you attach the stem and then that's how it's done. For the usage time, it's a bit different. The X30VX, right, you get a bit more. 80 minutes on eco mode, which is the lowest suction power. 35 minutes on medium. 10 minutes on the highest suction power. And then for X20S, you have 65 minutes on eco mode. 35 minutes on medium. 
10 minutes on the higher section and both takes about 2.5 hours to charge it fully. So it's more visible. So you can see that from one push, right, uh, there was no residue left. The suction power is really good. The mechanism, like how it is designed, is really good also because, like I said, it did not leave any residue with one push ahead, which is really good. That means the whole build, right, this part, you know, it can vacuum this kind of uh, bigger particles. So you don't have to go like back and forth with all the dirt. Okay, for the dust box, it's a bit different, especially in the way you uh, empty the dust. So you twist, then you just shake out all the dust. Okay. Then the filter is here. Oh, maybe I'll show you how I click it back. Just like this, okay? Okay, for this model, same. You have to remove it, okay? You can twist this part open and empty, okay, but make sure you are careful of this area because there's a hole. So you just press on this orange button. Yeah. So this is my kids' room. Every day, this room, the flooring will have smudges of uh, milk stain, you know, and by the time I discover it, the next morning, it is all dried up and it's very hard to mop. So uh, I know I can't really show you the smudges that I see daily. So today I'm gonna pour milk and chocolate milk here. Try to recreate the mess. It's kind of kitchen paper. It doesn't really clean it off. Like you still need to mop it. So I'm trying to spread the spill everywhere just for the video purpose. But remember, you should always wipe as much uh, food or water spill before you mop, you know, with any kind of mop. That's the right way to go. Okay, now you need to remove this attachment. Then you attach this. Okay. So I've been using it for a while and it's a bit dirty. Sometimes hair do get stuck here. Okay. Um, you can add a spray, you know, a diluted floor cleaner spray. You spray on this mop pad, but do not pour any kind of uh, soap into here. It will damage this thing for sure. Okay. And I also think that maybe you can drop a little bit of floor cleaner in here as well. So this thing doesn't have any electric component. Oh yeah, I forgot to fill the water. Be right back. Okay, so now we need to fill up the tank all the way to here. I don't think you can see the smudges, but I'm not lying to you. You can see there's a lot of smudges on the floor right now. And okay, we're going to clean it up. So this mop is quite quiet. You shouldn't move too fast, okay? Because when you move too fast, it kind of defeats the purpose. So you must let it go through. Especially my flooring is vinyl, right? Uh, you got to let it run through all the grains to have a good clean. Okay. Okay, let's run over the smudge. And this is the milky water. 
So let me give you a closer look of this room. After mopping, there are zero smudges. Don't know if you can see in the camera. But yeah, I really can't stand smudges. Uh. Just now there was a big spot here, right? And then over there, it's all cleaned up right now. I am 100% satisfied with how the Roy Me uh, clean up the floor, the stains, and how it swirled to remove everything. Very good results. So for the mopping function, I see that it's quite capable of removing the stain. This two mop pad, you know, the circular motion makes it much more easier to clean up the spills or to just mop the floor daily. But you know, it's not without any issues. First, I do find that hair does get caught on a mop pad and this thing, it helps a little to remove the hair but sometimes you might find that you know there are still hair so you need to remove this and wash it manually and you can see how milky the water is after cleaning the floor so I suggest you drain this water and then fill up the tank again mop the floor again with uh, another pail of clean water you can't just leave this water uh, in the tank after you mop, you have to drain it off otherwise it will smell in like a few hours time okay it's not the mop fault it's just the nature of water so yeah it's not completely effortless but you know the mopping itself the action of it going through all the spills the stains it definitely helped a little bit in removing with less effort the mop attachment is the same for both vacuum it doesn't matter you know whether the suction power is higher on either one it's the same the usage time is still 120 minutes so if you were to vacuum first and then you mop you have to go on the eco mode if you go on the boost 10 minutes you might not have enough power to mop later on so you have to take that into consideration the next thing is the size of the dust box one is 0 0.4 one is 0 0.55 liters so this is a bigger dust box okay accessories wise they are quite similar both have that crevice tool and a smaller attachment uh, with the bristle so if you ask me which vacuum cleaner should you go for i guess it really depends on your budget because this is hundred dollars more than this at the time of this review uh. but if you ask me i will always go for the higher suction power because that's more important to me but i'm not saying that this is not enough this is more than enough in fact much more than any of the bright me vacuums that i've reviewed on this channel so yeah that's it for this review <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video bye